This is my throw line storage method showdown. Just like with my other showdowns, I am gonna show you different tools and methods for pretty much doing the same thing. And in this case, it is storing your throw line. All right, so what's a throw line? It is a piece of string attached to a weighted bag. Tree climbers will show up at your place to climb a tree, but the first thing we do is throw or launch this dinky little string up in the tree and then use that to pull a rope up. The first we're gonna talk about is the classic cube method. It seems to me to be the most popular these days, so we're gonna start with that guy. Then we're gonna do the roll tarp method. It's one I haven't really seen out there, but I've been doing it for a while. I think it's pretty cool. You're gonna find it interesting. We're also gonna talk about ways of just spooling up your line, just straight up spooling it up, not doing anything fancy. We're gonna go with the wrap method. And the last one we're gonna talk about is the modified PVC nitty knotty. Yeah, that nitty knotty, that's one you have not seen before. All right, here's the deal with the cube. In the most basic sense, it is just a cube that holds your line, that's it. But there are a few technical details you gotta do just right so the stuff doesn't end up totally jumbled. Uh, first of all, I always keep the end knotted, either here or here, there's a little tie point at the end. That just means that you're less likely to get knots. The demon of the throw line is the knot and the jumble. That just is not what you want. So when you take this guy out, you wanna be able to pull it out without it knotting. And we'll see if that happens this time. It's actually looking pretty good. And then the last thing I would do is unknot the end of the line and you're good to go. Uh, so you got your line up in the tree on the first try, you hit that perfect crotch, your rope is up, and it's time to flake this line back into the bag. And the trick with these throw cubes is that you need to flake it kind of loosely, like into a, like a circle, and you want to kind of keep it organized. I have tried in the past to use two or three lines in a cube. You know, store one in the bottom, but it ends up getting kind of messy. It just, it doesn't work that great. There's a little pocket on the side, but there aren't like multiple pouches on most cubes for multiple lines. And the way I work, I always need three or four lines. You throw that first line, it gets stuck. You throw the second line, it gets stuck. You need the third line. Like that happens on a regular basis. You get down to your bag and you can either knot it around a handle or you can pop the bag off and tie it on here. You just don't want to drop it in there. If you drop it in there, you're going to just invite knots. So I usually just would tie this guy or just kind of wrap it twice around the handle. And the cool thing about the cube, this is why everyone likes the cube, is that it breaks down. It breaks down flat. You can fold it once, you can fold it twice. And almost all of these have some kind of Velcro closure, which allows you to tie it up, throw it in your gear bag, and it's pretty small. This is with one line. If you got a bigger line or two or three lines in there, it ends up a little bit bulky, but it's nice and compact. I think I might've cheaped out and bought like the cheapest one. These fiberglass stays have been falling out. They need like a little Gorilla Glue or tape or something. All right, option number two that I have used is this roll out tarp. And it's just a big old chunk of wax canvas tarp. I did a little bit with the sewing machine on this thing, but not much, basically just enough to make two pockets. One pocket here, one pocket here. The webbing allows me to hang different weight balls on here. So, you know, if you're using like a short line on a short toss and a tree with smooth bark, I'll go with the lighter ball. This is my 10 ounce ball. But as you know, on like a windy day with a long line, you just need a bigger, heavier ball to get your line to come back down. So that's my 16 ounce ball. I'll just kind of hang two or three bags on here on these little utility carabiners. That way I've got different throw weights and two different lines. A line in this pouch and a line in this pouch. Sometimes I'll have two in one and they'll be kind of like tied up. You know, so they don't get too mixed up. If you need a line, you just pull it out. Just attach the throw bag, unspool the line, and I'm good to go. Originally, I thought I would just flake the line onto the canvas and then kind of stuff it in the pocket, but that ended up leading to knots and big 
bundles of stuff that just wasn't good. So these days what I do is I actually kind of loop my line. And I know that will put a kink in the throw line, but it seems to work for me. I just loop my line. Then I keep the tail out. I'll keep the tail out. I'll stuff the loop in the pocket and I'll have the tail kind of sticking out. That way when I close it up and roll it, it kind of maintains itself. So I roll this guy up and then when I unroll it later, I'll open it and that tail will still be sticking out and then I can pull it and I won't have knots. Now I don't know if there is a perfect solution for your throw lines, but for me, this has been a step up from the cube. The cube for me is not good for multiple lines. It's not good for multiple throw bags. And even when it's empty, like the thing will like blow away on me. I'll be like halfway across the backyard if I'm not careful. This is just a little bit more compact, manageable, and stowable. But I gotta say the best part is that multiple line thing. Now I'm not gonna say too much about it, but I think there isn't a tree climber among us who has not at some point just tied up their throw line, thrown it in the truck, thrown it in the back seat, and just used it like that. The downside being, of course, the kinks and the knots and all that. There's no real reason why you can't spool up your throw line just the way you do your climb lines. You don't necessarily need a bag or a cube or anything like that. All right, next up, let's check out the wrap. There are a couple different ways to do this, which I'll mention, and it's got one really big plus. I've got my line just wrapped around a piece of cardboard. Like there's really nothing to it. But the best thing about this, absolutely the best thing about this is that it is super organized. Like it is almost impossible for this method to result in knots. If you absolutely hate like like you freak out when your throw line gets knotted, this is the way to go. It is the best. You can use a piece of cardboard, you can use a piece of plywood, a piece of wood, anything kind of long and flat, maybe four or five inches wide, minimum, maybe a foot, this is like 12 inches, maybe two feet, whatever. It's just gotta be the best way to keep your throw line from getting knotted. Like if you absolutely hate the knots, this is the way to go. And the only trick with wrapping the line back up is to have some kind of catch for the end. I've just got a slit in my cardboard, slide that baby in there, and then get to wrapping. You can do figure eights, you can do straight wraps. And obviously the longer your piece of plywood or cardboard, the fewer wraps you're gonna have to do. But I would say this is the method for the person who is just ultra tidy. Tuck the bag back behind when you're done and look at that, it is just good to go, stays totally organized. Now this method does not store multiple lines. You gotta have one wrap board or piece of cardboard for each line. It also doesn't hold multiple throw bags or anything like that. But with that said, it's gotta be, I think, the most organized method. Like no knots ever come out of this if you do it right. Now, I'm not sure you're ready for this next method, but let's take a look. Next up is the modified nitty knotty. You have not seen this before for tree work because nobody does this. Now the background on this one is that I got the idea from Melissa. She is a mad knitter. It's actually a technique and a tool used for managing yarn. So here's the deal. Basically this is a DIY sort of double T, H shaped, whatever you want to call it contraption made of PVC, but it's not glued up. So all these joints are actually flexible. So you can twist this guy around. And if you want to, you can pop the arms off. Now to take it off, you can do it in two ways. One is to just pull your line off and start unwrapping. You know, just start unwrapping it round and round. But, but that's not what we're gonna do. There's actually a cooler method for removing the line from the nitty knotty. If I can't do this exactly right, we might have to get Melissa to show us, but check it out. You basically just pop off one of these arms and your line is completely free. All right, so Melissa's gonna demonstrate the professional method for removing the line from the nitty knotty. <laughs> professional method, I like that. All right, what do you do? So we've got a tie in here so that it doesn't uh, get tangled. Okay. At least one, ideally it would be two, but I think with this, it's not that big of a deal. And then you're just gonna wanna get your hand through 
I'm getting my hand through the actual end piece and the rest of the stuff that's on that, like that. You see that? Yep. And then I'm going to pop this one off and get my hand through the other one. So my hand is through, see we got that big open oval in the middle. And then I'm just going to twist like you would a skein of yarn. So I got my thumb over here. Actually, I'm going to do my thumb over here. So you sort of maintain the loop and then you put a bunch of twist into it. Right. And then what? And then <laughs> I'm going to get it to wind up like a skein of yarn. Oh, that's so cool. And then I'll put my hand through to ga grab the other end over here and pull it through just like you would a skein of yarn. Yep. So then it's just... Nice. And you could put this on a hook or something and it would just hang there. Yeah. Uh, so then you're ready to put the line back on the nitty knotty. You get this guy set up. Now getting the line back on the nitty knotty takes a little bit of a rhythm. Kind of getting the vibe and you can see that it really organizes your line. Like your line ends up just perfectly ordered. Kind of similar to the last method. I think this is really for people who just want absolute order and regimentation, like nothing out of line. So those are four or five different ways of maintaining, storing, organizing, hoarding your throw lines. I would say they all kind of have a place or a role. You know, they all have some strengths and weaknesses. Even just spooling up your line and throwing it in the bag or throwing it in your truck can work out. Most recently, this has been my favorite just because it keeps the darn line so organized. But the roll tarp has got to be the one I've used the most just because I love the way you can bring two or three lines with you over to the tree or the trees if one gets stuck you can just go immediately to your next one the cube has got to be the most popular i see this one out there a lot it seems like the cube is the go-to but it's kind of my least favorite i'm not as crazy about the cube as i thought it would be at the beginning all right thanks for checking out my comparison of throw line storage methods i'm sure there's other ways to do it but these are just the ones i've tried all right, now I gotta put all my throw lines back in the truck. Now this one, you just kind of, yeah, you just kind of throw it in there. Throw the packs away right there. My ball.